Today we are playing... Today playing... Today we are playing for Mother Russia. <laughs> we can't say. And that was a little bit Russian. Let's go back to French. <laughs> okay. Oui. Today I am going to be playing Passepartout, the starving artist simulator. Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. Je suis Jaza. Je ne parle pas français, so I will speak English with a, a French accent. Only slightly racist. Because they are still white. Well, not all of them. Just this one. <laughs> but I'm not French. <laughs> I'm just digging a hole. Today we are playing Passport 2, the most requested thing I've had in a long time. And when I do something, I do it with style. Before we begin, I will open up by saying I am streaming this live with the Twitch chat, so I will be taking their requests while I create my artwork, and the first request I will take is which accent I should use. Twitch chat, it is in your hands. Will I be speaking in an Aussie accent, my normal voice, or a terrible French accent? The verdict is, you do not like my annoying French accent? Bloody party poopers. But I'm wearing the turtleneck and the scarf because it makes me feel fancy. A huge amount of people have requested that I play this. I've never played it before, so uh, let's see what it's all about. Apparently you actually do create artworks in the game, which is why I justified playing it. I don't normally do Let's Plays on this YouTube channel, but hey, it involves making art. So it's not letting me use my tablet? Are you serious? What? That's not fair. Oh, come on. It lets me draw with my mouse, but not my digital tablet. I'm not okay with this. I don't, I don't want that handicap. <laughs> Hang on. I'll turn touch on. Touch on. Wait, what? Come on! <laughs> Why does it exit the game when I touch the thing with- Can I- No! I'm- I'm insulted! I thought I would have the upper hand! Because I have art materials, but no! I have to do this like a common gamer. <laughs> Twitch chat, give me some uh, suggestions. Wacom tablet properties. Wait, 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 wait. Under the mapping tab. I copied and pasted a bunch of text from a bunch of different people. This matters. This really matters. Raphael Linux says open Wacom, Wacom tablet properties. Use Windows Ink. I did. It's got that. I'm going to undo that. Let's see if that makes a difference. Come on. Please work. Please work. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, I love you! Raphael Linux, you beautiful bastard. Oh, I get to put this thing back on. Thank you, Raphael Linux. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some beautiful artwork. Bills? What? Oh, no. I have bills. Crap. I have to... I have to hurry up and paint this. I have to pay bills with my artwork. Oh, there's no undo. <laughs> Crap! Alright, this is my first artwork. It's a self-portrait. This piece is entitled Obnoxious, but Consistent. Come on, you wanna buy it? No, you don't. Okay. Alright, Twitch. Help me out. I want more radical colours. Uh, okay, what can we do with more radical colours? Someone in chat says a cat. Oh! Oh! A hundred bucks? Yeah! Yeah! I sold my first artwork for like over a hundred bucks! Euro. It's Euro. Alright, radical colours. And we're drawing a cat. I don't know, let's go bright red whiskers. Radical colors, that's what you wanted. I call this piece dog because I'm an artist and I'm obnoxious. Right. The choice of color is a bit too radical. Are you kidding me? You guys don't know what you want, but Twitch chat, they know what you want. Someone says, make it Frencher. <laughs> All right, less radical colors, more French. They like it, all right. Deal. 60, 60 euro it is. All right, less radical colors and make it Frencher. Uh, that was entitled dog. This is entitled French dog. 47 euro. Are you kidding me? It's worth more than that. You can go away. Boring choice of cut. Oh, for God's sake. You people don't know what you want. All right, next piece. S someone says baguette. I'm going to create a baguette. All right, this piece is entitled oxygen. A bit for 47 euro, not good enough. 54 euro for French dog, not still not good enough. 39, oh, come on guys. I had a good sale to start off with. I can't go lower than that. Bob Ross, 
let's draw Bob Ross. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Oof, I'm using very big brush strokes. Hey, there you go, another 57 euro for my oxygen baguette piece. I will sell that. I can't make them as fast as they're selling. Passepartout's way of interpreting new ideas has become a hot topic for many amateur art critics. See, I'm interpreting new ideas. It's called juxtaposition, it's contrast. Yes, I've painted Bob Ross, but I'm calling this piece Burb Rares. He's got some happy little trees. What's next, people? I need to take another request. Oh my god! 122 euros! Hell yeah! I've unlocked a new tool. Ooh, I have a spray can! Alright, someone in Twitch says Eiffel Tower, but you guys know how I like my controversy. I'm gonna paint the Eiffel Tower, but I'm gonna name it something that isn't Eiffel Tower. Are you sensing a theme? See? Obnoxious, but consistent. <laughs> This is terrible. This piece is called The Statue of Liberty. Bland? Screw you! Alright, to be fair, I could do a lot better than that. Let's take some time. Let's make something better. I'm gonna use my new tool this time. Let's uh, let's use the spray can. Oh, I like this. I like this texture. You don't like these colours? I didn't ask you, Simph. Someone has taken notice of Passepartout's activities! Hell yeah! Well, have you taken notice of this glorious artwork? <laughs> this is my bear. <laughs> this is terrible. I gotta keep in my theme of controversy. Um, eggplant. I think that one's gonna create quite a stir in the uh, artistic community. Provoking and shocking, I freaking love it. I appreciate that, but 76 euro, you know, it's a little more revolutionary than that. Sorry, Sim. Plus you insulted my last artwork, so you can go jump down a well. 78 euro. Ugh. Benjamin, you're breaking my balls, man. Sorry, dude, I'm gonna get a better buyer than that. A lot of people in chat are saying dragon, so I'm gonna create a dragon. Skill and effort makes good art. I doubt this has either. George, that looks like George R. R. Martin. Did George R. R. Martin insult my- Well, skill and effort make a good book, and you're not making one, cause you're a little overdue, George. Where's the next book, George? It's too rushed. No, are you kidding me? I took time with that one, George. George, do you know what's not rushed enough? Your next book! George is spending an awful lot of time wandering around the streets of Paris and not writing the next goddamn Game of Thrones book. Look at him painting in the background there. <laughs> True art isn't based on skill. I love it. Synth, you're a bitch. Go away. <laughs> this is skill. And that was still lowballing me. Come on. All right, let's get our spray paint. Make some magic. And this piece is entitled Trump. I think people are going to start to appreciate me. Yes! 119 euros. See, I told you I was worth it. All right, I have sold to Trump. It's too rushed. Fucking George. Maggie's come around. See, I told you it would be worth more. I will take 118 euros. Some say passion and creativity is of Passport 2 is the hottest new thing on the street right now. Well, wait until you see my next piece, which is entitled Salad. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Okay, someone says the Joker, so let's do let's do the Joker. Choice of color is a bit too radical. Yeah, well, your lack of book is a little Unradical. <laughs> Go away, George. Stop wandering around the streets of Paris. The hipsters are having a meeting to discuss your rising popularity. Oh yeah! Well, the hipsters are gonna enjoy this one. I became known for my controversies, my uh, daring artworks and political <laughs> statements. But now I'm going to start criticizing pop culture and show it for what it really is. This piece is actually called, wanna know how I got these tears? <laughs> oh yeah! See, it pays off 173 euros. See, sometimes you just gotta break your own mold and set yourself free. I'm gonna be daring and I think this is gonna make a statement in and of itself. We'll have a shadow facing us. This one, this one is gonna be confronting for people. This one is called Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey Bullshit. <laughs> 42 euros? Are you kidding me? Benjamin, you're breaking my balls. Go away, Benjamin. 113 euros! Thank you, Steve! See, someone appreciates my craft. All right, next. This one is making a statement on capitalism. This one is called I Seek Approval by Vying Art. The choice of color is a bit too radical. George, we've talked about this. God's sake, George. All right. <laughs> this piece is entitled YouTube. This piece is a, a follow-up of my last piece. This piece is called <laughs> Twitch. See? Obnoxious, but consistent. You gotta give me that. Lack of colors I like. 
George, <laughs> lack of books we like. Sake, George. Oh, I can't let that one go. I will sell my piece called YouTube for 78 euro. I will not sell my uh, X piece for 27 euro. Put in some more effort. <laughs> Screw you, Sim. I need some inspiration. Why are you painting without passion? Man, Synth is a bitch. This piece is entitled Synth is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to buy a synth as a bitch for 190 euro. All right, I'll sell it to you, but only if you write the next Game of Thrones book. All right, I'm gonna speak directly to George through my next piece. Okay, so this is the Iron Throne. George, choice of color is a bit too radical. Well, this one is in grayscale and it's painted just for you, George. All right, this piece is entitled, Finish the Goddamn Book, George. Uh, fairly well made. I'm not gonna sell this to you, Steve. I want George to buy it. Oh, they're 166 euro. Mm, no, I want George to buy it. Sorry. People in Twitch chat, what do you want me to draw? Someone says ninja and someone else says potato. So I'm gonna combine these and create a another controversial piece. All right, this is a ninja potato. George, yes! Oh, he says good. <laughs> and he's paying 164 euro. Oh, George! I feel like he's getting a message. <laughs> I am so glad I held back. Oh, see, it's not about the money sometimes. Sometimes it's about getting your message to the right person. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, headphones users. <coughs> All right, well, this next piece is a little more of a generic statement. It's entitled Ninja Potato. I'm not gonna go controversial with this. Steve wants to buy my Ninja Potato for 246 euro. I'm moving up in the world. See, I've got over a thousand euros. I'm doing all right. But uh, this next piece I will not sell for uh, any less than 50 euros, but it's gonna be a, an easy piece. So uh, I'm just gonna call this more than 50 euros. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't put much effort into it, but uh, you know, I have a reputation at this point, so I think it's worth at least that. Twitch wants me to make a fish, make Nemo. This is a minimalist piece. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a little bit controversial with this one. <gasps> What's this? A hook. This piece is called Disney is dead. Do you know what? <clears throat> Sometimes as an artist, you need to admit to yourself when you have relied on pop culture and you've created cheap artworks for attention and, and for money. And I've done that my whole career in this game. Not in life, of course. <laughs> so let's create some real art. We have to dig deep into our soul. We have to think, what do I yearn for? Not what do the masses want? I have it. This piece is entitled, Hot Knife to a Fidget Spinner. <laughs> What's hap- <gasps> The critic is looking at Hot Knife and the Fidget Spinner. What? Hot knife to a fidget spinner. It was only recently that I heard of Passepartout, a quirky young artist with a passion for growth. From a distance, I was struck with the craftsmanship. As I approached the piece, my jaw dropped, and as I came closer, it ushered in a sense of clarity. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Upon closer inspection, the intriguing details of Cerise contrasted by the profusion of alabaster reminded me of my wife. The use of grey tones depict the dullness of life, but also the variety it offers. All in all, hot knife to a fidget spinner is a good effort. Passepartout has a lot of potential and I can certainly recommend my readers to visit Passepartout in the future. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I allowed the inspiration to embrace me and I have been embraced by my critics. I can progress to the next act? Yes? That piece, it was that piece that carried me to the next level. Act two, pursuing the craft. You have unlocked a new tool, the ink pen. 
and I have an art studio. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wrap this up. That brings me to the end of my session with Passbar 2 for today. We've enjoyed an epic narrative, or has it only just begun? Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue through to Act 2. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, maybe leave some suggestions for the approach I can have for my next venture in art. But for now, I'm going to enjoy the fruits of my success. A little more wine and a little more baguette. Thank you for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to like it if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Draw with Jazza if you would like to continue Passepartout's journey and join me in future artistic endeavors. But for now, I bid you adieu and until next time, I will see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.